guys my name is iba are you guys bored at home me too what do you miss the most i miss the sea so for today i will be reading you a story called dive by rajiv e blue skies and calm waters a perfect day for diving we set out in a little boat hoping for a big adventure when we reached the dive site we carefully checked all our equipment and put on our fins and masks as soon as we were under water we were greeted by a school of yellow back fusiliers there were so many different creatures to see around this large table coral oriental sweet lips parrot fish bat fish and even a beautifully patterned nerdy branch This trumpet fish changed color to try and blend in with a school of yellow tang. But you can pick him out easily enough, can't you? It's a good thing we kept a safe distance from this lionfish. The spines on his back can be quite poisonous. These clownfish carefully guarded the sea anemone home. but finally agreed to let me take a few pictures we saw a honeycomb more eel having its teeth cleaned by cleaner wrestlers and another pair even offered to give us a scrub there were trigger fish and sea urchins we even saw a coral grouper and reef octopus playing hide and seek The octopus won the game. They are masters of disguise. Pipefish are great at disguise too. Can you spot the two ghost pipefish in this picture? We came across a couple of white tip reef sharks resting near the bottom. They are pretty harmless. So we swam in for a closer look. We followed this hawksbill turtle for a while as he looked around the reef for a nice sea sponge to lunch on. As we made our way back to the boat, we were thrilled to see a manta ray flying through the water. with two remora fish in tow and just when we thought this dive couldn't possibly get any better we sighted a dugong grazing on some sea grass what an incredible experience i can't wait to go diving again Let's look at some of the organisms I have mentioned in the story. Corals are both plants and animals. Thousands of little algae live inside corals and give them energy to grow. They have hard outer skeletons and grow into many different shapes. Plankton is the main source of food for many sea creatures. They are a mix of algae, bacteria, tiny animals, and the eggs and larvae of larger animals that float about with the ocean currents. Feather stars may look like plants, but they are really animals. They use their feather-like arms to catch and eat bits of floating plankton. Parrotfish have strong teeth that form a parrot like beak which they use to scrape algae off hard coral some species don't mind eating bits of coral as well 
and they laid a hoop out of fine sand that washes up on land to form beautiful white beaches. Clownfish and sea animals live together and help each other. The clownfish help the animals by cleaning their tentacles and luring the other fish for the animal to eat. The animals, in turn, allow the clownfish to hide among their poisonous tentacles without staining them. Cleaner wrasses are small fish that keep bigger fish clean by feeding on their parasites and dead skin. The bigger fish recognize the wrasses by their colors and the dance-like way they move. The reef octopus can hide by changing its color and texture. It makes its home in the holes in the reef or buries itself in the sand. Ghost pipefish can be found in pairs, floating with their heads down and hidden among the sea grass, corals or feather stones. Like the reef octopus, they can change their color to blend in perfectly. The white-tipped reef shark has a thin body, broad head, and white tips on its dorsal and tail fin. They hunt at night and sleep through most of the day. The hawksbill turtle has a flat body, a shell with jagged edges, and a sharp curving mouth that looks like a hawk's beak. Manta rays are huge fish with wing-like fins on the sides of their bodies. These large fins help them swim gracefully through the water. On some manta rays, the distance from one wingtip to the other can reach up to 23 feet. The dugong is a vegetarian mammal. Its favorite food is seagrass, which it is able to graze on with its specially shaped snout. Dugongs are also called sea cows. That's all. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.